fudges to be enjoyed a little bit at a time. Let's have like one piece with a cup of tea, coffee. My name's Sarah Orton and I run the business with Stephen Jones and our business is Rowley's Fudge Pantry in Salisbury. Prior to Rowley's I worked, I ran a, a PR and marketing business with Sarah. We got rather bored with just sitting in front of computers, talking through our fingers as everyone does now. And we worked with a lot of celebrity chefs um, and I spent a lot of time writing about food. And then I just thought, hey, wouldn't it be nice to actually make some food? Time marches on, you have your children and um, you kind of want to do different things. Sarah and I converted this old um, 1650 barn from scratch and we kind of sat around this ginormous barn looking at each other going, what do you do now? <laughs> and of all our friends that were told we were going into fudge, I can only think of two that haven't laughed. <laughs> Before I went into Rowley's Fudge Pantry in Brighton, I actually really didn't like fudge. Um, and I'd only ever experienced what I call funfair fudge or fairground fudge. And so to suddenly taste fudge as it should be, sort of crumbly, melt in the mouth, I just thought, wow, I want to do this. The essence of fudge is um, milk, sugar, butter. So it's all, all wonderfully, wonderfully healthy. And we also have a special secret ingredient that actually even we don't know what's in it. And you pad it up to a, a, a very high temperature which varies depending on the type of fudge you're, you're doing, so for you're making. So for example, a sea salt you have to take up to a higher temperature. And we have a rule in this pantry, if you burn the pan, you clean it. So you're pretty good at not, not, not actually uh, burning it. Then we leave it to settle on the uh, marble table, probably about half an hour, and then, we, and then we pour the fudge. And interestingly enough, that the marble has to be warm, not cold, to get, to get the fudge to set. So it's, re it's really counterintuitive. Stonehenge is very close by, and uh, we decided to run a competition in the summer and created our first fudge henge. The first one we ran as a competition to uh, guess a weight and we ran it throughout the whole summer and the only reason we've done it again is because we've had so many people come down and say, where's fudge hen gone? So we felt sort of compelled to do it again. Every other aspect of the Rowley's Fudge Pantry model is pretty perfect. It works. There's now 30 uh, fudge pantries around the country and all we had to do was find the perfect location. And a perfect location for a fudge pantry is somewhere where there's a lot of footfall throughout the year and a very high percentage of visitors. Um, and we see tourists coming from around the world pretty much throughout the year. The only quiet months are January when everyone's kind of guilt tripping about how much fudge they ate at Christmas. My favourite thing is, this is a really good business. You know, I don't get grumpy customers. I've, ten, I've had two complaints in nearly a year, both of which were justified and both of which we put right very quickly. It's a really fun business, but we're now getting quite onto freedom, so we really don't have to be in the business every single day. When we first started, because we were forever on the phone to Carrie at, at Rowley's, and we called her Carrie Poppins, uh, because uh, we were just forever saying, Carrie, help. The challenges have been enormous, um, particularly in the early days. As I say, everything was so new, and it was kind of terrifying, actually. But I think if you're prepared to almost take a leap of faith in the dark, um, no matter how old you are, because people have described it as our midlife crisis, um, you know, you, you are just so richly rewarded. And I started it with one product that actually cured my skin problems and I was giving it away to friends and after a while they got a bit bored with one product and they said why didn't you just make some other products so I actually started developing other products.